I also just want to express how difficult this is for first responders. One of our first troopers to arrive on the scene saw the young lady that, that died there on the scene and thought it was his daughter because she had been dropped off at the school this morning as well. Same clothing description, same description. And he had to go over to convince himself that that was not his daughter. And then for those that responded, it's a difficult situation. Dealing with those that are killed, injured, traumatized. I pray for those first responders that had to go and witness this. But kids are going to, you know, the natural instinct. When something like this happens, they're going to hit the door. You know, they're going to try and get a, remove themselves from the situation. So uh, a lot of the kids, they were on both sides. And I still didn't understand completely what was going on. But these kids, you could tell they were upset. You know, and I was like, this is, this is serious. Yeah. You know, in, in, interesting enough, um, one of the young girls that was actually closest uh, to to the actual uh, shooting was not able to tell us anything she was so shook up when she first got here she couldn't uh, she couldn't really say anything you know and so after she got calmed down a little bit she was able to tell us some and then from that point on it was just you know like everyone just trying to piece some things together the kids didn't know a whole lot you know, they heard gunfire and they left, you know, and uh, and like like a lot, the details come out later on. We're learning more as we go.